Okay, so in this Construct 2 quick tutorial, we're just going to do uh, lighting around the character. Say, for instance, when they're in a, a cave or dungeon, and you just want to have a lighting effect around the character and have the outside of that uh, area darkened. So what we're going to do is, uh, this is a game that I'm currently working on. I'm going to use it in the example. But if we come over to the layer, and we add another layer, and we're going to call this layer light. Uh, and then we want to change the background color. We're going to go to black and put the transparency to no. And then let's bring in the light. So basically all that this is is just a PNG file, a large P, um, PNG file uh, that has the light. Um, so it's like a white color. And as you can see, it's kind of gradient so that it's uh, darker as it goes out towards the edges. So we're going to bring that in. And then we're going to go back to the light layer, click on the light layer, and we're going to go into effects, hit the plus sign, and just start to type in multiply. We want the multiply. And then double click on that, close it out. Now you can see that it's lit up the area around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this into the character, um, and I'm going to put the lighting right about there. And now if I go over to um, my level events, because I don't want this to be global. My first level, he's outside of um, that cave and the next level they go inside. So I don't, I just want it to be on this level. So I have the level events here set up. Um, what I'm going to do is do a new event um, for every tick. And we're going to go to the light object and we're going to uh, sorry the set position to another object and then we're going to go to player and image point zero and hit done and that's on every tick so now when i run this you can see that it's lit up around the character now you can see that outside of that it goes completely black so you might not want it to be completely black so that they can still see a little bit outside of that if we go back to the light layer and then we change the opacity down to say 90 and then let's play it again that has a little bit better of effect um, for the light and as you can see the light does follow the character around and now if you wanted to you could always change the size or the positioning of the light we can bring it in further in to the center well it's going to automatically center it there but we can decrease the size of this this light and make it a little bit smaller hit play again and then you can see that that light imaging is smaller around the player character Thanks for watching the tutorial.